Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be checking out the demo for Clid the Snail. This was shown off at some games conference recently and it sounds hilarious. You're basically a badass snail that uses like guns and stuff to defeat his enemies. And that's kind of all I know about it. It's a top-down shooter, so it seems pretty cool and it has a wild idea, so I'm totally willing to support it. Okay, The Plague. Also, that music was pretty damn good. So... Okay, so we do need to play this with mouse. <clears throat> I've played some top-down shooters where you use a... controller. Probably the only shooter that that really works in. Alright, there's our roll. Okay, yo, what's up? Can I shoot you? No real point in doing so, it seems. Oh, proceed to speak. Okay, didn't expect that. Goodbye, Killjoy. I'll miss your constant complaining. Be careful out there, okay? Try to go to the Grasshopper Citadel. Maybe you can get at least a couple of days rest there. Yes, it'll be better than sleeping outdoors. Take care of him, Bellu. Yes, Mr. Pythagoras. Is that our little Navi? Make this, Clid. It will help you out there. Bamboo juice? Oh, you idiot. They're med kits. Use them when you're hurt. Oh, let's go. I know... You know I don't like the sentimental stuff. Goodbye. I didn't expect the Banjo-Kazooie... ...in this game. <laughs> See to use a med kit and heal yourself. You can see the number of... Wow, that went away really fast. I'm guessing my HP is this, up here, these like five blocks. And that's like my stamina meter because it went down when I rolled. Hi, nerds. What are you? Lampreys? Kablooey. Wow, my controller vibrates every single time I shoot. <laughs> I'm just gonna unplug my controller. Uh, even though you can't play it with the controller, the vibration is still going off. Alright, so there we go. That's much better. Okay, so let's go down here. Slug Swamp. I don't know, man. I don't know about this game. The controls just feel a little sluggish. You know? <laughs> that is not serious, by the way. That is a joke. In case someone missed that. Oh, jeez. Okay, you're dead. Cool. Yeah, this was revealed at some conference thing or whatever. <clears throat> it seemed like a, just such an interesting idea that I was like, okay, I have to try this. And I saw that the demo was out for it. So I was like, hey, cool. What better time? Game has a lot of lighting effects going on. It's a crazy amount of lighting. Okay, I can't destroy the bots. The pots. I don't have ammo, I guess. I also did a charge shot earlier. Hiya! Oh yeah, that does a lot of damage. Okay. I gotta remember how to heal uh, when that when I actually need to. I haven't been hit yet, so we got that going for us. Uh, you have a pitchfork. Kablooey! Oh, you exploded. Into bits. Okay. Oh, hey, treasure. Gimme. Or whatever that currency is. I got some more of that. Alrighty. Hello. Yeah, the lighting. They have a lot of lighting going on in this. Like, there's like these rays coming down, and there's this little light following me, and then I'm running into random lights as I walk around. What are you? Yeah, I was about to say, you probably explode. You seem like the explodey type. Gimme. Cool. Well, I still I still hold that this is an incredibly neat idea, and the game is pretty interesting. What I've seen so far. I just I always like games Wow, I just took my first bit of damage. 
Um, I always like games that have a world that takes place in, like, it's a smaller version of the real world. Like, Bug Fables, uh, there's a game coming out called Small Saga, just like, that kind of stuff, you know? I always like those ideas, Bugs Life, stuff like that. It's just, I don't know, it's always struck a chord with me. Oh, I didn't see another one. Whoopsie. Okay, so we do have, like, half hearts, too. Uh... Oh, you were roasting bugs. I think those are just flies. So... Interesting? I guess? I wonder if I could have eaten those to get some health back. What's this, like, even yetting that's happening right now? Is that because I've taken damage? That's an explosion barrel. Okay, let me see, uh, what was C? Uh, uh, or heals? Yeah, C was heal. Wow, that didn't consume a thingy. Huh. Yeah, there's like a weird dark vignetting going on on the sides of the screen right now, and I'm not sure what that means. I'm missing one of these. Did I, like, catch plague or something? I don't know. Hey, a pitchfork. Why don't I just grab that? You know, use it with my with my gun. It'll be a good pairing to my gun. Doomslayer has that crazy ass sword that he uses, so why don't I get a sword too? A lighter. Yeah, in like Pikmin 2, I guess, is another example of that. Just like giant real world objects and creating unique environments from mundane things. It's just such a fun idea. Like Bug Fables had uh, an, a level where you were just walking through a refrigerator. And I just think that's so cool. Hello? I'm here to do more murder. Hello. Kabalushi. Dead. Alright. Seems pretty cool. Wow, that guy's like ribcage decayed. We got some little mushrooms right here too. Alright, had to check my phone really quickly. Nothing in the barrels. What are these, like, weird flaming things that are coming off of your back? Clid. Alright. Hello? What are these? Zedandalions. Do they, like, heal me or something? Maybe. Uh, hi. Bye. Wonder if I'll get other weapons at some point, too. Could be pretty interesting. There's a fork. Yeah, I just love that aesthetic of like, oh, it's the it's the real world, just way smaller. I've always loved that, and I probably never will never stop. I wish more games did it. Okay, this says I need a key. Uh, what what was that? How about no? Die, please. Thank you. I wasn't prepared for that attack you just threw at me. Okay, and you guys got like a little green pot. What is that seed? That's a skull. One of four seeds. This is a Raylar seed. They say if you collect enough, then your health will increase. Wow, we got heart pieces. We got heart pieces, we do. All right. Kablooey. No, die, die. Here we are. Just, just getting rid of the bugs, you know, the flies. Like these weird land preys. I actually think they're also slugs. Can I eat your flies? No. Okay, that leads to something. Is there anything over here? No. Okay. I am ready to shoot bang. If the need arises. Yeah, that did heal me, the little dandelions. Okay. Well, that's useful. So we know we can walk into those to get a little heal. Oh, you look like a bad boss. Ow. Your sound effect reminds me of, uh, the, the guy that eats a bunch of food in Luigi's Mansion 1. Mr. Mr. Grug? Mr. I, I forget his name. But the sound effect he has when he's eating is like, wah 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 We'll need to pick up. Hey, we got ourselves a key, which looks awfully a lot like a square to me, but, uh, Keys comes in all- comes in, uh, keys come in all shapes and sizes, I guess. Hey, what are you? Hey! I will murder you, small, not hostile thing that's actually running from me in fear. Hi. I promise I'm not that scary once you get a, over the whole 
uh, shooting you on sight thing. I promise. <laughs> Wait, what did that say? It said E to... These are the remains of a giant. It's hard to believe that none of them are still alive. Ah, they referred to humans as giants. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I think, uh... I think Bug Fables referred to them as the same thing. Didn't they? I think so. Yeah, there's another game coming out that uses this concept that I want to play a lot, too, called Small Saga. Where you're, like, mice. It's just such a cool idea, man. And you can make so many unique environments with it. I love it. Hello. That was a bug. Not a game bug, a bug bug. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you totally get what I'm saying. For sure. Okay, well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get back there. I probably can't dodge roll through it, right? Oh, no, I can shoot it. Cool. Neato. Uh, hi? Okay, I shoot that, the door opens. Oh, this is just a treasure. Oh, okay, well, I shouldn't have opened that. All right, we're good. Ow, we're not. All right, maybe we should uh, take the time to heal. There you go. Jeez, I, I didn't think I was gonna be locked into that canned animation when I opened that chest, but I was. I might have been able to roll to cancel the animation, but I don't know. Die, die. I wonder if we're gonna get another weapon anytime soon. Because this one is very good, for, like, definitely, but... Oh no, I'm on a timer. That's a timer! Huh. Okay, what is this? Okay, more, more weird platforming areas. Okay. Wait, how... Do I get over there to turn you off? It must be, we must have to go through here. Alright, no. Okay, well, how am I? Oh, I can go that way. I thought that was backed up against the wall, but it's not. Yeah. And there we are. Kablooey. I did it. I am the best slug. Oh, but I thought that would turn off too, but it did not. How dare you rudely stay around to annoy me? Can't you see I'm trying to play a game over here? All right, what you got? Boom. I have a lot of whatever this currency is. Not sure what it is. It looks like a little gemstone. Wait, press E to speak. What's he doing hanging there? It's a swing for hermit crabs. Really? No, and I wouldn't want to end up like that poor bastard. Damn slugs. You're a slug though. Ooh, a wedding ring. Can I get it? Ooh, I can. Oh, and that rewarded me with a lot. Okay. What could that be? It looks very old. No idea, but it'll definitely sell for a pretty penny. Yep. Wedding ring. Kind of sad seeing things like that in this world, because you know what it's used for, but they don't. Die, please. Oh, I didn't see you right in front of me. You were a little uh, hidden. Wonder if I'll ever get to upgrade this so the shots pierce. That would be amazing. I would love that. That would be a very, very good upgrade. Uh, I'm charged. The next person I see is dead. You hear dead. So I wouldn't want to be you. Aha! Gotcha. The bluey. Dead. All right. Oop, there's another seed up there. Treasure. Actually, I just realized, did I start a timer for this video? Oh no, it doesn't look like I did. It doesn't look like I started a timer for this video. I don't know how long I've been recording. Okay, well, we'll just go until I feel comfortable about how long it's been and then we can stop. <laughs> I usually like for these to be 30 minutes, but this one may either be shorter or longer, depending. This is what I get. Okay, so we do that. I want that 
Okay, there, yeah, there's another seed back there. We just need to solve this puzzle to get it. And then there's another seed up here, which I thought was where this was going to lead somehow. Okay, so what do we do about this? Hmm. Okay, we walk against the wall here. Okay, that turns that one off. Uh... Oh. Oh, I screwed up, I think. No, 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 never mind, we didn't. Okay, so we go down here, we shoot that one. We go over here. Ah, no! That can't be! Damn it. Retry. I was close, though. Okay, we respawned right there. Ooh. Huh. Die. Die. There we go. Dead. Yeah, I saw a lot of people freaking out about this game when it was announced. <laughs> people are like, whoa, what is this game? What a wild idea. It's like dark and gritty Earthworm Jim. Except less platforming, more shooting. Alright, let's skip that. We don't we don't need to see the little little fly arounds again. I don't know why I charged up my shot just to go over here and shoot this thing. Not like hitting it any harder will do something. No. Do it again. Huh. What? How did that not hit? That's stupid. That's stupid. I hit that. Go. Hiya. And let's shoot you again. There we go. I did it. Okay. Door is down. Uh, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Yay, we're gonna get another uh, health thingy. Seed. Cool. And I know where another one is. I just... Ah! No! <laughs> Please tell me it saved my progress when I picked that thing up. I didn't think it was going to appear that quickly. I don't think I get to keep it. That sucks. I got a little overzealous and just kind of ran, thinking I was safe there at the end. I don't get to keep it. Alright, well I'm not going back for that. This is the demo. If I was if I was playing the full game, yeah, I'd be going back and grabbing that again. But this is just the demo, so it's not that big of a deal. I'll lose it anyway, soon. So, aha, this is how you get down here to grab uh, this and get up here to grab you. Cool. Okay, so I would have three of the four I need for a health upgrade now if I still had my, my other one. Can I roll across that? Is that an option? I can't. Break all the pots. Channel our inner link. Oh, sorry, weird tentacle. Was it an earthworm? I don't know. I thought that guy would die sooner. He did not, though. All right, I wonder if there's a boss in the demo. There probably is. Usually demos have a boss. Okay, we're good. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. Alright, what's under here? Another treasure. I've got all of this currency and have no idea what to spend it on. Oh well. Oh wait, yeah, I, I remember uh, earlier I said that you were a slug. You're not a slug, you're a snail. Sorry, I get slugs and snails mixed up a lot. One has a shell, one does not, and that's basically the only difference I know between the two. <laughs> How rude of me to call you a snail. What are you? Hi? Oh! Trader. Okay, what can we get? Um, offensively large cartridges for the shotgun. The use of protective gloves and goggles is recommended. Wait, the shotgun? Wait, do I, do I have different weapons? I just haven't been using them? Small explosives filled with warm acid. Uh... Shells? Go back. Okay, so wait, how do I... Do I have other weapons? 
No, I don't. I don't want to talk to you, friend. Sorry. Um, we can kind of zoom in to fire. Oh my god, I do. It was mouse scroll wheel. Okay, so we have like mines and stuff, and I just didn't realize <laughs> that I could just swap to them. Darn it. Oh well, let's give these guns a little bit of a spin and maybe we'll end the episode off here. I was like, I can't believe I don't have more guns, but it, it might have told me about more guns, but I didn't, uh, I didn't see it, basically. There was one, uh, tutorial prompt that kind of went away quickly, so I didn't, uh, spy it. Is this a boss fight? Oh yeah. Is that a rat? It's a pyromaniac rat. <laughs> okay. We've all gone mad today. What the shell is going on now? There's a mouse with a flamethrower burning everything down. Even the bar? Why do you ask that question? After him. We got a murder to do. Hello, Slowpoke. Who are you? A snail that's going to smash your face in for killing the grasshoppers and burning their citadel. You're not getting out of here alive. I think you're a little off, kiddo. Anyway, all the grasshoppers are toast. Mission accomplished. I'm off. You bastard, you're gonna find out who's slower, me or you. Alright. Oh god. Uh, reload? Please reload? Please reload? Okay. This is a terrible use of this thing that I'm using. Uh-huh. Okay, I should switch guns. This is probably better. Yeah, this is way better. You can't hit me with that, nerd. I thought I was gonna have to hit him in the uh, tank on the back. That's usually what you do to uh, flamethrower guys in these sorts of games. You usually hit their tank and then they explode. Oh god. Watch out. Oops, too late. Yeah, just a little. So I wonder if my regular gun has, like, infinite ammo or something. Uh... Because these guns seem wildly better, but they actually have ammo. Boom, 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 boom. Well, I've almost won. We got that going for us. Dead. Yep, there goes your tank. It's gonna go boom. Usually the fates of people that use flamethrowers. Rest in peace. Rat in peace. Damn rat, that was harder than I thought it would be. Well, I'm going to keep that fancy flamethrower, I've earned it. You sure have, Clid. You sure have. Clid, that's stealing. I just killed this mouse. Do you think he's going to mind so much if I take his weapon? Yeah. No, but it's not very nice. This place is a mess. It's going to collapse any minute. He's a murderer! Lid, hurry, come over here, look what I found. For the last time, I don't care if a flower has grabbed your attention. No, oh, something else. They seem to be planning something. There are strategic plans, weapons, and this is a map, but it's half burnt. Hmm, there's an area marked near the snail citadel. Ugh. Oh, I have nothing to do with them anymore. I'm leaving before I end up burnt to a crisp, but first I'm taking that flamethrower with me. All right, we got ourselves a flamethrower. Uh, hi. I was like, "What is that? A dragon? What is that?" Hi, all oh, the giants. What? Oh, you scared me. Did you manage to beat him? Is Ska? Who the shell are you? Do you want to die like that mouse? In the end, he lost. Damn fool. Oh, you're a bat. 
I knew he couldn't be trusted. I knew it. You gotta be strong to have beaten that psychopath. You knew the mouse? I'm afraid so. Who are you? I'm Bellow and he's Clid. He just got banished from the Citadel. Why are you such a big mouth? Interesting. My name's Hazley. A pleasure. You should come with me. My boss will want to meet you. I'm not going anywhere with you. How do I know you're not as nuts as that arsonist? You just got kicked out. I don't think you have anywhere else to go. Your design's so cool. We'll go with you. Ugh. Okay. Perfect. Let's go. Clint, hold on to my cord. I'll take you flying. I hate heights. Well, you can make the journey on foot. It's just a two-day walk. Okay, but I can't promise I won't throw up. Your design's so cool, you like talk with uh, the sonar things on your back. That's neat. It's a very cool design. Alright, but with that, I think we're going to go ahead and end this look at the demo off here. It seems pretty interesting. I'll definitely give the uh, full game a shot when it comes out. I'm always interested in these kinds of things. So, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Clid the Snail. I'll put the link to the demo in the description if you want to try it out yourself. And I'll see you next time.